Hey guys, sub thumbs here. So, uh, yeah, I didn't, uh, didn't do all that much today. Uh, just basically, you know, put some pocket clips on some stuff, put some stuff in boxes. Uh, worked on my uh, website a little bit and business cards. Yeah, it's, I work, but you know, nothing, uh, nothing crazy. But I did go out and buy myself a little gift. But uh, basically, uh, my birthday is uh, in a couple hours. So you know, the best, the best gifts come from me, from myself. So anyway, <laughs> you guys know how that is. But anyway, uh, see, so yeah, I got these guys out here. I got uh, to show you my VCP. I gave myself a pimp job. So uh, my VCP will be, uh, I'll be showing that in a minute, but I want to show you my uh, a new thing I pimped here. So I traded in the car CM9. Something a little bit more manageable with less, uh, less problems. Uh, the other one, that thing just uh, basically misfired in my house because of some malfunction. So uh, I've always been kind of weird about carrying it and it's my, uh, basically carry it every day so so it's always on me and I kind of felt weird about it but this one you know I just had to have it uh, I heard about it I researched it and I just really wanted it they got a uh, a SIG P938 tough thumbs edition that's right OD green reptilian pattern scales on this little guy very comfortable Unfortunately, I couldn't get the extended magazine with the little ramp. I'm waiting on that one, but uh, this thing is just awesome. I mean, it's a safety on there, so there's a little bit of a learning curve. You, know, you can see, you guys, nothing in it. Uh, it's got the night sights. I believe they're Trijicon night sights or something like that, which I've never experienced before. So, definitely pretty cool. Came with it. Um, it's like a tiny 1911, pretty much, and uh, I think that's pretty damn cool. But smaller than the car and uh, fits in my holster just fine and you know it carries nicely so far uh, just a six plus one right now so I'm hopefully getting the seven plus one with the extended little panky because uh, it's just kind of you know you know it's right there it's just nothing nothing going on there so but yeah guys check that out I do do these guys, and nobody really ever. I get a lot of people asking, "Hey, okay, can you do 1911?" Blah blah blah, and I'm like, "Yep," and nobody ever really sends them or whatever, you know. But uh, you know, I love OD Green, and uh, on a, on you know a lot of my gear is OD Green, so I figure I kind of match it up there. Plus, uh, the grips are on there were G10, just just black G10 hood grips. They're you know they're nice. Whatever it says Sig on there, and the stip uh, the checkering here and here. But you know, just kind of blah, and I've just always wanted a uh, gun with a interchangeable handle so I could actually do something with it. So, um, you know, I really like the way this this looks and it feels really nice. Because uh, without that, you know, with that pinky hanging down there, it's nice to have a little bit more grip because these just, you know, fits right here. My, you know, side of my thumb, both sides kind of grooves in there nicely. It kind of holds it. I'm making my freaking finger in the uh, trigger guard there. But uh, I've been practicing like drawing with the, uh, you know, I gotta get used to uh, pulling it out and dropping the safety there. Cause yeah, I'm used to uh, Glocks and uh, you know, I had a Ruger LCR that I was concealed carrying and then the car and a Glock. So I'm used to no safety. So, you know, you know it's next to my, it's next to my jewels. So, you know, having that safety is kind of nice. So apparently you can, yeah, you can pull this guy back and rack it with the with the safety on. I don't know what. Yeah, I know some about guns, guys. Like what's important, but I don't know. There's some stuff I just don't know or don't really understand what the what the uh, point is. And I'm sure you guys will go off on a rant in the comments about it. But yeah, I just want to show you the uh, pimp job on this bad boy. Just awesome. Just. Oh, look, it matches my bracelet. It's cute, isn't it? No, I'm just kidding. It's nice in there. So, anywho's, anywho, what's it's? 
So the only, okay, well real quick, I'll show you a pimp job that I just kind of retouched up. Uh, you guys might have saw this a while ago. Blue Twill Max 2. Reptilian pattern, extra large. I got the, uh, kind of looks like an overexposed like camera view of like a starry night sky. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about there, but it's kind of like these like slashes, acid etching of the blade. It's kind of a nice little texture to it. And then the sides here, you got the, like a bluish or a bronzish colored backspacer here, gold, gold liners. Stone washed uh, pod clip, kind of bronze a little bit. Black and blue liners on top, kind of sandwiched between each other there. Just really classy looking. So I had a request for this. Show it cutting something on camera. That's right. Don't wanna need doing damn wicked edge. So, gotten used to grinding nice edges. So, going to the days of failed cut tests. And it's kind of cool because the uh, it's real sharp and it's like mirror, but that etching pattern is kind of on the still on the bevel there. Very sharp. I'm pleased with myself. So, finally, present to myself, pimp job, I just wanted to do this and I took the plunge. You guys saw it half done, but uh, these two just look so sick. Um, and guys, this is the first fallout, full on fallout, uh, full tie, Sabenza ever. So, these are gonna be happening a lot. The owner of this wanted me to mention that. We'll probably put like first first fallout ever written on the inside or some shit <laughs> or like a certificate with it and then this guy here really like this one still but um need to sharpen these guys but to go with these guys i did my i just love the way these look so much did my vcp guys so uh, i had a question about how acid etches on ctx i had no idea so and i just did it and uh you know it looks it looks just as good as everything else nice and dark it's got a more yeah there's different looks to it this is a s35 or ctx i mean they're pretty much the same there's just a little bit more this one got darker uh once uh, cpm 154 gets the darkest i've seen that in a uh, 01 but uh and of course you got the bronzed hardware Looks really nice. I didn't really like the black pivot screw in there. Just kind of blah. I hit the pivot, uh, the the stop pin very, very, very lightly because uh, yeah, don't want to mess with the uh, anything on that because it's pressed in there. I don't want to ruin anything. Uh, bronze, 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 bronze. But yeah, this one I tried something for the first time. I have a shitload of brass, these big chunks of it. So uh, I was always interested in what that would be like uh, to work with. And it's it's almost easier to work with than like carbon fiber. So made a backspacer out of brass. Basically your standard VCP backspacer replica. Uh, minus the jimping on the bottom there. Stonewashed and sandblasted. Just adds some uh, sexiness to that uh, steampunk fallout look. So, you'll be seeing this backspacer on somebody's strider next. So, unfortunately, you know, I have to carbonize this thing once in a while, but yeah, I just don't, I don't understand why this happens. I mean, fuck. But you know what, it's not, you know, just like anything else, you know, you're not going to be using it. You know, if you press it, it's not going to disengage really unless you hold it right here and really push. So, for now, until I see an opening or figure out how to fix it, or I don't know if I've avoided the warranty by now, but probably. But, um, I'll figure out something, guys. If someone knows a fix for it, let me know. So, I'm trying to fix that guy and uh, I'm trying to fix this guy tonight, too. 
Uh, everything's perfect on this one, but the lead is so damn off center. Wheels are mono. And my thumb is like discombobulated, so I can like I can grip knives better than most people. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Sorry, I just don't have much to show. I mean, there is some stuff I did do, but you know, nothing worth showing, really. So, anyway, guys, have a great night, and uh, thanks for watching. Probably no. Well, I say no video tomorrow, but I'm gonna be doing nothing tomorrow, so nobody's gonna be around. So I'll probably just work. So I do enjoy what I do. So, all right, have a good one, guys. Later.